Hello and welcome. In this video, I am going to show you guys how to make a recommendation system uh, that is content based recommendation system by using a Python programming language. So, start about our data, right. about the movies and the ratings provided by the different different users and it is publicly available on the cognitive classes IBM or you can easily download by the UCI machine learning repository. So I will provide a link in the description. You can go and download it. Okay. So I'm using IBM Watson platform. If you use any Anaconda environment or Jupyter notebook, it doesn't matter. You will work and all the codes will be run. Okay. I'll make sure you install all the necessary libraries in your environment. Okay. So I would like to tell you that I will not write a single code in this video because if I do so, the video will be too long. That is semi boring. So I'm just explain every code that is used in this project. Okay, so let's get started. First of all, we import all the necessary libraries for this recommendation system. That is basically three or four libraries are there and from import pandas, spd, numpy, and the matplotlib. So after necess importing necessary libraries, I'm going to read our two data frames that is movies and the ratings so for this i'm going to use read underscore csv method that is csv stand for common separated value so by using these two methods that is provided in the pandas library we read our csv file into the data frames okay so let's take a look of our movies data frame this one now we are going to check whether our data set is successfully uploaded or not. For, for doing this, I'm going to use the head method that will re return the five starting rows of your data set. So for, first of all, we apply for the movies. So let's take it. Voice work. This one. That's working. So we have a following attribute that is movies ID, title and the genre. A title having the name as well as the year. So let's separate this year from their title. So for this I have a code. We, you can use regular expression for removing, so not removing, for transferring year from title to a new column that is year. So for the first line of code is for the spacing find the parenthesis and the second line of code is for the removing the parenthesis. Okay. And the third line we are going to ex extract the year from the title and provide an empty string that is used by the single quotes okay and the next line we are going to make a title and apply the lambda function and after then we are going to strip method to make sure that we don't have any end or white space of the end of the character okay so this is now how data set is look like yes so now we have basically four attributes previously we have three that is movies id title genre and the year and the one more thing we are going to, for the genre we are going to split it and convert all the details into the list format because whenever we apply a split method it will return output as a list format because list is because we are going to do future calculation, future operation on the list. So this is for the list. Okay. So as you can see, there is an, this is not in a list format, but this is in a list format. And you can see there is an angle bracket starting and the ending point. So after then we make a copy. It is not necessary. You can use already and previously that you have. So in this block of code, we iterate through the movies and make and take all the genre as an attributes and provide the values 1 and 0. 1 is for the where the genre is present. Suppose uh, Toy Story is a movie and having the genre adventure, animation, children, comedy and the fantasy. So for, for, for these five attributes, we provide the value of 1 and the, all the remaining will be 0. Like you can say the horror mystery is also providing 0. So by default, it will, if the genre is not present, it will return none. So after that, we will use fill na method for providing all zeros value in the place of none. Nan basically not a number. Okay. So after that, if we run this, you can see it will take some time. 
yeah this one so now data frame with the genre having the lots of attribute that is movies id title genre and the following genre's name that is adventure animation children and uh, providing values 1 and 0 1 if the genre is present in the movie and if the genre is not present in the movie that is 0 in the next section uh, now do some calculation not a calculation some basic operation on the ratings and remove all the that uh, column name that is not useful so read the Rating data frame by using head method as I told you had uh, gives the initial five rows if you use tell method that will give you the five last rows of your data frame so as we can see there is a four attributes user ID movies ID rating and timestamp but uh, for our project uh, or we can say for our this program timestamp is not very useful so we can easily drop it by using the drop, drop command that is given in the pandas so Rating data frame can be drop time stamp and it will look like this. You know this one. So now we have only three attributes that is user ID, movies ID and rating. Uh, now is the most awaited part that is recommendation system. So recommendation system is a system that takes user input and according to that user input it will provide a recommendation about the different different products or about the different different movies or etc on which platform you are working suppose if you are working on a LinkedIn platform so it will provide the jobs if you are uh, working on uh, Amazon on the Netflix so it will provide the product and the movies so now we will take the user input that is two attributes that is title and the ratings the title means the name movie name and the rating according to that user what is the rating of that movie so we are going to use as a data frame because this is in a list format and list will a collection of items and it should be iterate iterable and it, it is that it doesn't matter that you provide a string or the dictionary inside the list it takes every element as a single element okay so this is a list so we are going to read as a data frame so if we run this so we have basically two attributes as i told you rating and the title of the movie according to the user input it is just like a user detail and previous user previous records okay so in the next section we are going to filtering out the movies by the title so and we are going to check whether the these movies inputted by the users are present into the actual data frame that is movie df are is it is present or not so after that we are going to merging these input id with the input movies because after this we will get the movie id and the next section we will going to remove all the unnecessary column because maybe it will create some complication uh, at, at the last moment or running the running the course okay so if we run this input movies then we will get basically three attribute that is movie id title and rating and you can see previously we have only two that is rating and title and now we also have movie id because we get we check whether movie is present into the movie data frame and if if yes then we will kept get the movie id from that movie df data frame in the next section and in the next section we are going to take user movies take a variable user movies name and filtering out the movies from the user input and first i'm going to filter out the movies from the user input then i will filter out the movies from the actual movies input then compare their genre so for this i'm going to again i'm going to use the isn't method that is for selecting values with the specific attribute into the specific column so i'm going to take the movie with the general data frame and from there we are going to access movie id and check is it is present into the movie id of the input movies that is inputted by the users in the form of list and convert into the form of list and if we run this then we, we get the following data frame that is and having the number of attributes uh, it is it is same as the previously we get a data frame with, with the number of attributes in the form of 
genre that is adventure animation children comedy and so on if the genre is present to the movie we will provide a value 1 if it is not present we will provide the value 0 okay so we can just work should work uh, you know this one so in the next section i'm going to resetting the index to avoid the future issues as i told you this is a, if there is a change in the shape of the your data frame there will be conflict on the link codes so make sure you index your reset your index of your data frame so here again i i'm going to take user movies data frame as i we have previously and same variable i'm taking user movies and by using reset index method and make sure you true this if you do false it will not indexed and remove all the necessary data from that of year genre and the title now check the input movies ratings and make sure this is the input movies rating according to the users use not users we have only one user and now we are going to multiply dot product with the weights and the maximum weight will be the movie recommend to the user so this is of a user profile that have the following genre that is adventure animation children adventure has 10.0 Well, drama has also has ten point zero, comedy has thirteen point five. So get the genre from the movie. So okay, this is the other one. Yeah, this one. So by using movies with genre data frame, we are going to set index. As I told you, we make sure you set the index. and genre table you can see your genre table as you make previously that one you can also check the shape of your data by using data frame name dot shape so we have 34208 rows and 20 attributes attributes means as this is a gender table so all the attribute is gender this one so now make a recommendation table you can make recommendation table by multiplying the gender by the weights and multiplying with the user profile as you have suppose you have two table that is gender table only contain the value of gender that as i told you there are 34000 something rows and the 20 genders are there 34000 something are the records by the different different users and multiply with the user profile actually user profile is only have only one gender sorry only one user and the different different genders are there so multiply by these two we get the weights and after that we will take the average and if we take the average and if we see our data frame by using df dot had method then we will get the five initial records for the movies id so that is our movies id and our recommendation for the movies 1 2 3 4 5 and so on if we take six here we will get six records if we use tell method you will tag you will you will have last six records okay next section we are going to sort our recommendation into the descending order so for this i'm going to take sort underscore values ascending equals to false if we take ascending equals to two it will same as before 
so this is our final recommendation table that is movies df dot loc movies df from the movies data frame we are going to take movie id and check it is a recommendation table twenties with the keys so this is the final recommendation table as you can say 664 movies id space jam title and the genre according to the user and according to the movie so this is the best recommended movie for that user the first movie space jam second is jam Huzan and the hoof who frames Roger Rabbit and so on. There are lots of movies that should be recommended to the, that user according to that details, user details, okay. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you find this helpful. So thank you so much.